uh, hi everyone so this is what we have written in the last video like we had all these methods index index of includes fill join maybe most of them we try to cover like find filter for each these are all callbacks callback based right for each is mostly used for iteration doesn't return i mean it just update the existing uh, object map returns the new object after calculating the output from the callback a sum we just checked if any of the element is satisfying the condition every every element must satisfy the condition to get the returned value true similarly reduce and all right now uh, how can i actually uh, just call these methods const array one equal to let's say new obj this is our class name and we are just passing the array of strings here So all these methods which we discussed, like which we already have in the class, we can apply that. Array one dot length reverse. This is already an array, so you can also apply all these methods. So array, array one dot index of. So here you can see index of method we have. Index of, uh, I guess we have defined it. Index of method. and object is our class so we created the object of it and when we see x so for this we will get minus 1 right because it's not there and for a we will get a uh, 1 right uh, index is 0 for b we will get index as 1 c for, for c we will get index as a 2 okay all the other methods like last index of array dot includes okay array dot includes a it will just return true it is true false not giving you the index like index of similarly we have like uh, error dot fill what we are doing is uh, we are just passing error dot fill and the element like if i'm just passing a uh, simple e right that means and the default another argument will be the starting index and end index so it will be like starting index is 0 and index is the length minus 1 so it will fill all the elements with e value that is a standard method in the array also array dot prototype dot fill similarly we have a array dot map filter reduce so array one dot map it takes a callback function what callback function we have is x equal to x plus one right so what it will do is you can see in the map function. we are actually passing this callback which is actually going to to this so here we have these arguments let's uh, try to see this in terms of our code we have written so array dot map it takes a callback right and it is returning as an object so what callback function will be doing uh, array dot map okay and in the callback we have value and key okay and what we are returning we are returning every value gets multiplied by 3 and return as right so i mean whatever the values we are passing here if the current array is it's uh, consider we have a numeric values because now we are multiplying these things so consider we have a numeric array in that case every element will get multiplied similarly if you do the filter every if you do filter here if value is greater than 1 then you will get a 2 and 3 as an output as an object array dot sum so simply if you do sum uh if value is greater than 1 that means you are just checking if any of the value is greater than 1 so it will return true if you do every that means you are expecting every value is greater than 1 that is false because we have only 1 2 3 1 so is not greater than 1 that is equal to 1 so it will return false for it okay now okay let's uh, close these up things and now let's try to write a string reversal what all possible ways you can write a string reversal so consider that uh, you have given a string this is your string a which is tk sharma and somebody ask you to reverse this so what all possible ways you can think of 
so simple is string dot first what you can do is split converting a a string to an array string dot split then you can use reverse which will actually reverse an array okay and then you can actually join these so when you do the join you will get the final string so earlier if it is a tk sharma you will get the reverse of it am or whatever the, the final value you are going to get okay so you will get the reverse of it so this is a simple function let's see uh, another method of doing the same thing like another mechanism to do this we can have uh, an arrow function and what that arrow function will do is it's the same thing we are going to use either reduce function or you can actually iterate on to the elements okay and then just reverse it so let out this is the output string we are generating and what we are doing is we are running a for loop let i is 0 i is less than or oh, let's run for of loop that is better right let character of the string we are running a for of loop on to an array and what we are doing is result equal to character plus result or we have the out as a output right let's put output character with output okay and finally once this is done return out okay now you might be thinking what is this happening so it's just a trick we initialized out with empty string and whenever we are doing concatenation we are putting character first so like if your string is t k s right so you iterate t then k then s so first character was t so what we did is initially our result was empty okay so what we are doing is the output is equal to the character which we are iterating plus result okay so initially our character was t plus result it was empty okay now in the next iteration our character is k okay and our result which we already got from first iteration is t okay then in the last iteration the last character is s okay and the result from previous iteration is kt uh, yes it is kt so s kt so this is how we will get skt as a string okay a simple trick to get the reverse of a string or you can iterate onto this string or you put, use the stack you push all the elements into the uh, into the array and you keep doing a pop and do the concatenation of all the elements that is also give you the reverse of a string okay so or you can also use a reduce function if we try to just do that because we just need to concat the elements right so here reverse let's try to create another function here let uh, what we are doing is we are just running a string dot split because we need to run a reduce function on this so we have to first split this split will just give us the array and then we can run a reduce and here result and character right so the same code we are converting into the redu re reduce function that's it it's the same logic which we have written here we are just doing it with the reduce so what reduce does is it keeps passing the iteration uh, it keeps passing the result of first iteration into the second one and this is the accumulator function we have okay so what we are doing is simply we, are, we have a result and character we keep adding character with result so whatever the next character we are getting we are pre-appending it okay so these are the just a different ways of uh, doing a string reverse okay similarly you can also think of doing a factorial okay factorial using stack factorial using recursion or any other way which you can think of writing a simple factorial logic these things are uh, pretty much good when we uh, were in like college education but now when we face the interviews these small tips and tricks they are always helpful okay so now if we just talk about simple factorial uh, it can be written in a simple single line right const factorial of uh, this number i will be using arrow function 
of this number if number if your number is less than 2 then factorial will be okay if number is less than 2 okay then obviously factorial will be 1 otherwise you will be multiplying that number with factorial of and minus 1 number minus 1 right a simple uh, one single liner for factorial code or you can actually write a code in this also you will just pass number and some arrow function in this we might be writing some logic okay let's final is let's out is one output value and here we are doing a loop let i equal to two and i is less than equal to number i plus plus and here we will just do the product sorry the out equal to the output will get multiplied equal to i okay and return out simple we are just keep multiplying based on the number this can be done with the stack also right you push all the so you just iterate if the value is 5 right so you iterate till i equal to 0 i equal to 1 to 5 and push all the elements and then you just keep doing a pop and keep multiplying with the result which was initialized with 1 okay uh, that's it in this video in the next video we will take a look on more examples we have lot of code we are going to write